Hi everyone, welcome back to episode 9 of Trust Me, I'm an author. Uh, this week we're going to be talking about what is a beta reader. Okay, I'm going to, I'm not assuming anyone is stupid, but there are some people out there that are brand new authors and they are navigating this brand new world and it, it can be very, very confusing and I don't want them to confuse, uh, say, a beta reader with a proofreader. Um, and basically what a beta reader is, is this is uh, people that you either um, hire or friends or family, um, a trusted teacher, whatever, uh, this pool of readers that before you publish your book and you send it out into the real world, that you hand it to them, please, 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 and, and ask them, please read my book and tell me what you think of it. All right. Now they can, you can ask for whatever, you know, how it made you feel, if you liked it. Um, uh, it can also say, can you, you know, any glaring spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes, would you note it for me, you know, on page such and such, whatever. Um, and you can do that as well. But for the most part, what a beta reader does is not proofreading. Okay. It is reading for content. So when you are getting ready to send your book to a beta reader, please, please, please. And I have stressed this on many episodes, proofread. Okay, proofread four times before you do anything with it. Okay, and the reason for this is um, when there when there are too many grammatical errors and there's too many spelling mistakes and and it's too choppy to read, people won't read it. They won't like it. Okay, it doesn't matter if you have written the great American novel. Okay, <laughs> once it's edited, um, if it's not if it is not pleasurable to read as is, they're not going to. Okay. Now a few close family members or friends might chug through and try to give you like, well, you know, it was okay. You know, I kind of liked it. All right. Don't do that to them. All right. Edit, 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 edit. Very important. Edit. All right. Edit. So, but you do want beta readers. Okay. And, and for the most part, you usually don't need to hire them because you can usually find, um, if, if, you know, you can go to, you know, if you're recently out of high school, go to your high school English teacher and say, hey, you know, um, or if you've been to college, maybe some of your college professors will check out your book. Um, you, you have friends. I assume you have friends. I hope you have friends. I have friends. I hope you do too. We can be friends if you're not friends. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so you have family members um, that like you enough to be subjected to your first book or your third book or your 15th, whatever. Um, but there are people out there that you can generally find. Um, you could even put up a notice in your local library looking for a beta reader. Um, I'll bet you that there are some people at your local library who would be willing to read um, a book, you know, for free uh, and, and give you a review about it. So, you know, just look around and, 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 and find people, but definitely do. Um, because beta readers can give you a lot of insight. Um, they can say things like, oh, the story was great, but around this chapter here, it started to get a little draggy or you, you repeated yourself several times and it kind of threw off the flow of the story or whatever. But they can give you that insight that you need to tighten up that book and make it amazing. So use beta readers, okay? Get them, love them, compliment them, hug them, whatever it is they want. Buy them a cookie when they read your book, uh, but get a beta reader readers, I should say. So anyway, that is why it is important to get beta readers. They give you the insight back. So before you put it out into the world, you can get a good idea, a good feel of how people will feel about your book and to make sure that the, what you are trying to convey to people is coming back. And that's what you need a beta reader for. So get them, love them, use them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Trust Me. I'm an author. And again, I am the founder of Indies United Publishing House. Uh, if you want to look up, look us up, um, you can find us at www.indiesunited.net. We do have beta readers for authors that want to join our house. So, you know, if you don't have friends, again, like me on, on, on Twitter, we can be friends on Twitter. Anyway, um, but we do have a pool of beta readers uh, that we can send books out to. So just letting you know, um, if, if you can't find people willing for whatever reason to read your book, we can, um, if you would like to join us. So anyway, uh, you guys take care and I will be back next week and we're going to be talking about book trailers. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Take care.